She wanted to make something. Alice Rigney is one of dozens here to contract cancer in recent years, breast cancer in her case. Now she's in remission, but some of her friends haven't been so lucky. She and others worry that their beloved hometown is a cancer hotspot. We live here and we see our neighbors, our friends, you know, being diagnosed. And I think in the back of our minds, we sort of say, I wonder who's next. At the local clinic, nursing staff say many of their patients live in fear for their health and demand the most elaborate, expensive tests whenever they feel unwell. Ultrasound, x-ray, CT scan, MRI, um, they want all those tests to be done just to, you know, be on the safe side to make sure that they are not, you know, uh, having cancer. For generations, people here lived off the land. Today, many fishermen shun their catch, fearing the lake is polluted and eating fish can make them ill. A few hundred kilometers upstream, the smokestacks and sediment ponds of the oil sands line both banks of the river. Researchers say heavy metals from emissions are getting into the water. That's why Fort Chippewyan's leaders have gone to court to try to slow down project expansion while health and environmental impacts are assessed. We're not here to oppose development, but we're also not here to promote uh, further development without cleaning up this act. You know, clean, it, clean up the mess that's here and let's do it in a, in a way where we could prove to the world that we are a leading edge in regards to how we could reclaim this area. Asked for an interview, Alberta's government referred to a study from last March that said cancer rates in Fort Chippewyan were slightly higher than elsewhere. Oil companies say water and air quality standards are strictly observed and they laud the economic benefits of the industry. It's been a real positive thing that's happened for Canada. It's provided opportunities across the entire country and still does to this day, and opportunities for Aboriginal people and for local development. And we should be really proud of it. On the shores of Lake Athabasca, this is a community that gets jobs and business from oil, but worries about the impact. Poisoned by the petroleum industry or not, there's no doubt these waters are causing fear for some in this community. Fear of swimming, fear of eating fish from the lake, fear that just being here could give you cancer. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Fort Chippewyan, Alberta.